What's up everybody, David here, and today I'm going to show you guys how I got the guitar and the bass tone on my song, Endless Nights. Now, Endless Nights for me is a pop punk song. It's more in the vein of like Blink-182, but I definitely wanted to get something in that style as far as the guitar and bass and just mix overall, but also bring something a little more modern. And I'm actually pretty happy with the result, and it just happened to be that I got these tones using free plugins. So today, I'm going to show you guys how I got those tones, a little bit of the mixing I did after to fit it into the mix, and show you from start to finish what I did to make Endless Nights sound like it does. Let's jump into the DAW and get started. All right, so let's start with the bass tone here. So I'm going to play you the DI. So this is a Squire 70s uh, jazz bass. Uh, this bass already sounds fantastic just through the DI and uh, it's a great starting point for a more pop punk bass tone. Now in creating my bass tone for this song, I wanted something that was a little more mid-rangey and honky that really poked out in the mix because that's something I've always loved about, I guess like a Blink-182 style mix. And I got that very easy using the BOD uh, free amp sim or free pedal, I guess. This is a free rendition of the Sans Amp bass driver pedal. And right off the bat, this gave me exactly what I needed. Now, I'm really not doing much here. There's not a lot of drive. There's just uh, adding some lows, highs, and presents, and that's it. It gave me exactly what I was looking for. And I have a lot of other bass amp sims, but this one just worked, so I stuck with it. Now, I'll show you the little bit of processing I did after. This stuff after is not free plugins, but you can do this with free plugins. So, first one is the Fab Filter. Uh, just doing a little bit of notching and a little bit of a boost here at 1.5K. So very thin notches, but an overall boost in that area, just to bring out that kind of honkiness that I wanted out of the bass tone. Really just kind of focusing in that tone a bit more. Then I have it going to the virtual mix rack, and this is just adding some EQ. So I'm adding apparently a ton of EQ at 4K, but that's the thing about this equalizer. It looks like you're adding a lot. This is 5 dB, but it's incredibly smooth. So it doesn't sound like a crazy difference. Um, it's very subtle in the way that it EQs things. So let's hear what it sounds like. So really just bringing the presence and the actual notes of the bass like through the roof. That's what I wanted. And then lastly, I have the C4 on just to clamp down on that high end for some picking. I guess that's just kind of an overall multiband thing, so it's catching the picking and it's catching some of the high end on notes that might be poking out a bit more than others, and it's just kind of smoothing out the top end of that bass. And that's what we're left with. So I'm going to turn off all the processing and turn it back on, and I'm going to use the verse because the verse is mainly where I wanted you to hear that bass just grooving in the background. I wanted it to be present. I didn't want it to be the only thing you hear, but I definitely wanted it to be audible and um, not hidden like some people like to do with bass guitars, but I'm not salty. Here we go. And that's the bass tone. It's incredibly, incredibly simple. Uh, but I used a free amp sim and it just worked amazing. So now let's move on to the guitars. So I did do a bit of research before getting uh, into this, into creating this guitar tone. And I did find out that Blink-182 used like a dual rectifier and a Marshall JCM 800 or something like that. I didn't want to copy it, but I wanted something in that kind of realm, in that space. So I ended up using a dual rectifier in mine or a free amp sim of a dual rectifier. So first thing in my chain is the TSE 808. This is a free tube screamer. The drive is about 25, 30%. The volume left at 50%. And then the tone is a little more on the treble side because I wanted a pretty bright guitar tone here. Next we have the Lecto amp sim. And this is a uh, simulation of a dual rectifier. This is one of the pool in plugins. I think I said that right. These are completely free and they're actually really, really good. So. On this one, I left it on the vintage channel because 
Uh, I'll show you in a minute when you go to the modern, it's way too much. I pulled back on the drive a little bit. It's at maybe 45%, a little bit more mids, a little bit more highs, a little bit more presence, uh, a little bit more resonance. I wanted a, a bright guitar tone here, and this really helped me achieve it pretty easily. And then lastly, I used an impulse response. Now, I guess technically this is a one thing that is not free because this is in the JST Conquer All Pack, but there are a ton of free impulses that you guys can use that will get you a similar tone. Now, going back to the actual amp, like I said with the vintage and modern, I'll show you what modern sounds like, but it's just way too much. Yeah, that's just a little too overbearing. The low mids and the mids are insane there. And the vintage just worked perfect right out the box. So both guitar tones are set up exactly the same on the left and right. So when I pan this fully right, this is what we get. Now both guitars are going to a guitar bus where the last bit of processing is applied. So first thing I did here is a little bit of frequency um, notching, just kind of taming some of the mids a little bit and then taming some of the harshness around 3K and around 5K and rolling off some of the highs. I didn't do all of them because like I said, I wanted a bright tone, but this is just kind of taming some of those weird frequencies. It's really not a massive difference, but it's just kind of, for me, honing in the tone a bit more. And then I went to an API 550A. Now this is not free, of course, but this isn't really part of the tone either. I'm just kind of showing you what I did to get it to the final result. Uh, but you can really do this with any EQ. Now, by itself, I was just now kind of thinking, wow, I might have gone a little overboard on the highs. I could have maybe gone down to the two, but when you put it in the mix, it helps the guitar stand out a bit more. They sound, to me, they sound kind of dull once I take this off. So by itself, it sounds like it might be too much. In the mix, it works pretty well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that guitar tone. And seriously, I got it with free amp sims. This is a free tube screamer and a free dual rectifier sim. I have a plethora of amp sims. I have a lot to choose from, a lot of paid plugins, a lot of more expensive stuff, and I tried them all, but just something worked about this Lecto amp sim. Something worked, something just gelled and vibed with the song, so I stuck with it. And just remember guys, I will put a link down in the description below if you guys wanna check out this song and the tracks and try mixing it for yourself. Now as far as guitar and bass tones, that's pretty simple. There's not a lot going on to get this mix to sound the way it does and to get those instruments to sound the way that they do. And once again, like I said in the video, that is free amp sims. And uh, once again, I have a lot of amp sims. I have a lot of paid stuff, a lot of kind of expensive stuff, but these just work. So I have no problem using these, even though I passed up a $200 amp sim that's sitting in my DAW. I don't care if it sounds good, I'm using it. So one more time, if you guys like this song, don't forget to check it out in the description below. You can download the multi-tracks for free to mix it yourself. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you've already mixed this song, feel free to send it over to me. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing with it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to ring that bell so you get notified when I post new videos. My name is David and I will see you next time.